Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, is your garage band like this? Do you have my song at the start of all of your musical ideas in garage band? Well, today in this garage band for iPhone quick tip, I'm going to show you a technique I use to set up a template so that when we start a new project, it doesn't become another my song mess. So here I am in my GarageBand main screen and you can see that we've got uh, an awful lot called My Song here. So they're caused by the fact that when you create a new track in GarageBand, you create a new song, what you've actually got to do is go in and start actually recording something. So you have to actually go in, start doing something and record it before it will actually let you have a track. So we've now got that track. If we now go back to My Songs, GarageBand has conveniently created a new song and now it's my song number 10. So that's not a great way to keep things organized because what I like to do outside of GarageBand is if I've got a new idea, I want to save it and name it as quickly as possible rather than get you know half an hour into trying a new idea and then go, oh, okay, what is it now? And then you end up with a whole bunch of my songs like I have here. Now what you might also notice is I have this track here called New. Now what I've actually done is I've created a template and then called it New, put a hyphen in front of it so that the very first project on my GarageBand list, when I sort by name, is this file new. And I'll show you how I can then use that to create songs using that as a template. So the way we can create this template is first of all to create a new song. So we're gonna go plus, create new song. I'm just gonna grab the audio recorder here. I'm gonna record some audio for no particular reason, except that now we have our track view enabled here. So GarageBand won't save this as a new track unless there's something to save. So now when we go out back into My Songs, there's My Song number 11. So this is the one we want to use as our template. I'm going to tap on there and I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to add in a hyphen to start the song title to make sure it goes to the very top. And I'm going to call it New again. If I can type in E, W, and then just add a hyphen at the end because I like things that look nice and neat. So there's my new track, but of course it has that audio in there. What we can now do, now that it's saved us as a track, we can go back in, we can tap that bit of audio, tap again, hit delete, and then go back, and we still have a completely blank song. Now if you're one step ahead of me, what you're probably going to realize is if I now open this track, start editing it, and save it, then I've got the same problem again. I've got the file that will be named, I'll have to change it to whatever, and then I've lost my template. So, here's a little bit uh, more to it than that. What I like to do is, before I start a new track, is just simply tap on this, hold it down. I'm gonna press the Add button to create a duplicate. There we go, and now I've got New Copy. So New stays there, New Copy is the one that I'm gonna open up. I'm going to add in whatever I do, put my idea down, and then when I come back out, then we can rename it straight away. Or what I've started trying to do is before I actually start, so if it's a new idea, um, I can actually tap in here, rename that new copy file straight away, and then it's already named when I drop back out. Um, as I said, the way to keep this at the very top is to click on name there, because it's always gonna put in alphabetical order with any symbols at the start. So that's just a quick way to get rid of all of these my song problems, to create a template with a blank slate for you to start your new recordings.